Everybody say hello. Howdy, howdy. Gunnar, what are you getting into? Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Where would right. we go this morning? Two places. What was the first place? Three places. Three. Where'd we go? Store. The store was one. Where else did we go? Two. To get gas and get money from the bank. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah. At first I was just going to do like a grocery haul and a meal plan, but then I decided to make it into kind of a reset video. So at the beginning of each week, we refill our pantry and our fridge. We refill our envelopes for our cash envelope system. And I also, we also refilled our gas tank today, <laughs> but also I wanted to do like a little bit of meal prep for lunches this week and just like cutting up fruit and stuff. So I figured I love to watch those videos, so I just make one myself. But let's get started with the grocery haul. This entire grocery haul was, we had to buy a gift card for a present, but without that, it was about, yes, in just a second. It was about 225. So let's show you what we got. And you can tell us if you think it's worth it. <laughs> It's really hard when you're sitting here and you realize that like $225 is a lot of money. Today I feel like, and Robbie feels like we did get a lot, but sometimes it feels like we didn't get anything for what we spent. So anyway, yeah, you agree? Okay. Let's start over here with our cold stuff. Okay, so starting with yogurts. Robbie and Avery love the Chobani flips. I like them too, but they just eat them like all the time. So we got a four pack of the cookies and cream. That's Avery's favorite. And Robbie really likes the salted caramel crunch because it comes with pretzels in it too. So we got that for them. Uh, I got some plain Greek yogurt, which I use as like sour cream sometimes. You can use it in different recipes. So that. We are having pizza night tonight. And my in-laws, Martha and Corky, Marmar and Puff, Mom and Dad, what we all call them, is they're coming over tonight and we're going to do make your own pizzas. So I got two pizza crusts. With that, we have bacon for the pizza. We have, let me come around this way. Turkey pepperonis, Italian sausage, mozzarella cheese. We of course needed more eggs and, and then coffee creamer because we drink coffee like, yeah, a lot. <laughs> anyway, so we got coffee creamer. We got some maple pork sausage patties. Robbie and I have been loving these. We've been making breakfast sandwiches in the morning and they're super filling and they're delicious and this is a major part of it. I only like like sausage, breakfast sausage if it's got the maple, maple flavor to it and this is super delicious. We also bought a good amount of fruit, I think, this week. <laughs> a lot of fruit, actually. So we have some peaches. You know, judging by the size of these, Robbie, I don't think they're in season. Yeah. I think they are probably, probably is the summer, but I don't think they're well, in season just yet. I got the small ones because they were cheaper. Oh, I didn't know that they made smaller ones. I thought these were just like, not the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so peaches, like we've talked about before. Where's the tag? Is the tag gone? The tag is gone. This is one of those Honey Glow pineapples. Oh my gosh. Like I've said before, don't walk. Run to your store if they have Honey Glow. They're amazing, so sweet, super delicious. Love them. Uh, we got some strawberries, some, uh, what were these called? Golden yellow honeydew melon or something? <clears throat> is there a tag? Texas Roots Golden Crush, no, Golden something melon. Golden yeah. honeydew melon? I don't know if it's a honeydew. It is a honeydew. So. She did say that. We tried these as a sample and they were super good. Mid May through mid August is peach season. Hmm. I was wrong. All right. And then we've got some onions and bell peppers, which we will use for meal prep this week. And then some lettuce. And then a big mama, huge watermelon. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it is good. Robbie read that you can actually freeze watermelon. So we're going to cut this up and maybe do like a fourth of it for the week and then freeze yeah. the rest of it. So. We'll show you that later. And then, of course, bananas. You got some good bananas. Not only are they good color, but you got a lot of them. Great job. Thank you. Moving on to frozen things. Well, and Lunchables. We got Lunchables. Avery eats one of these like every day for lunch. <laughs> it's just really simple and really easy. And she's currently eating one now. So, uh, Robbie wanted some more tater tots, or as Hill Country Fair calls them, potato puffs. These are the Southern Style breaded chicken sliders. These actually do taste to me pretty close to a Chick-fil-A, like filet. They're really good. And then these are like little popcorn chicken bites. When I was a kid, we used to eat these on salads all the time and it was like my favorite meal. Super, super delicious. Then for meat, other meat that we got, 
We got some ground beef because we're going to be having burgers one night this week with our friends. And then I always like to grab a pack of chicken thighs just because we use them so often. It's always good to have some on hand. And if we have extra, it's not going to hurt anybody's feelings. So then for bread things, I got some La Banderita. Um, taco soft taco tortillas goodness my brain just stopped for a second we got hamburger buns and then these lenders bagels these bagels hopefully will be really good with our breakfast sandwiches we actually can try it out right about now <laughs> and then we robbie saw these and thought they looked pretty good i love their actually i actually love their quaker rice chips but we've never tried the tangy barbecue probably because they're new Again, good find, Roberto. Red enchilada sauce for a recipe that I'm making this week. Robbie and Avery love these like Slim Jim things. This is, there's 14 of these. When I bought them for the first time, I thought, oh, these will last forever. They lasted like two days. They love them so much. So get some of those. Pineapple tidbits because I am a savage and I love pineapple on my pizza. You don't like pineapple on your pizza? Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Whoop, whoop. On the pepperoni. On the pepperoni, that's right. So we'll use this tonight. We needed some more ketchup, and since Whataburger has started bottling their ketchup and selling it, there is no other ketchup to get. That's all we love. That's all we'll get. It's more expensive, but it is. It is, but it is so worth it. Avery picked out some popsicles. So we'll put those just for you. No, I'm going to eat them. No. Oh, you can share them. That'd be nice. We can share. Anyway, so we will have to throw those in the freezer in just a second. Of course, we got applesauce, uh, peaches and cream, oatmeal. I've been eating a lot of oatmeal because A, it helps with supply, and B, it just sounds good, honestly. Nilla wafers for Avery Madeline. She loves them. She calls them banana cookies, I guess because banana. they- Banana. I think because you put them in banana pudding, but I don't, that, I think that's why she calls them that. We needed some more chocolate chips. Avery and Robbie love like Pop tarts. tarts and these are much cheaper and do they taste exactly the same? Close enough for me. All right, cool. Diet Dr. B because we need it for a recipe that we're doing. Some apple juice for Avery. Gas drops for little man because he's really been going through it lately. OxyClean, um, like the scrubbing bubbles. It's not scrubbing bubbles, but it's basically like scrubbing bubbles. Hopefully it makes it like even wider, but we needed some more of that. No, we needed not. makeup wipes. Oh, do you want to tell what you got? Oh. What are those called? What's it called? Mr. Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles. She got to make slime the other day and Aunt Diane who helped them make it had some of this and so we had to get some to play with. So we'll play with that in the bathtub later, right? And we have to put it in the bathtub and go to mouth. And what? Now, oh, okay. Glass cleaner. I've heard this is better than Windex, so we're going to try it out and see. We needed some more scent beads, so we got some of that. And then lastly, I think this is it, pull-ups. Avery still wears pull-ups at nighttime, and so we just grab a pack of pull-ups like every other day, or every day, not every day, every week because she wears them at nap time at nighttime. So they last us about a week. Can we have one? Can we? What do you want? What is that called? What do you say? What's it called, Avery? A Slim Jim. A Slim Jim. Anyway, that is our grocery haul for the week. Uh, we're gonna put this away and have lunch and then we will do all the meal prep and stuff later on, but I definitely wanna film that. So, uh, let me know what you think. Do you think this was worth 220 bucks? Who knows? And this is the moment where Robbie realized he may have bit off more than he could chew. Do you know how long it took him to cut up this watermelon? I seriously think it was upwards of like 45 minutes. And when we were in the store, there were two like boxes of watermelons and one of them was said seedless and one of them said seeded. They both had the exact same sticker, except one sticker was red and one sticker was black. So Robbie's like, oh perfect, we'll get this huge watermelon. It's seedless, we get it home. And as you can see, it was not seedless. It's totally fine, the seeds don't bother us and Avery just eats around them, but it, it was hysterical because he thought he had gotten this like amazing deal. Oh my gosh, it's seedless and it's huge. We'll have watermelon forever and 
yeah, so. He is putting it in a mason jar right now, which I started doing, I don't know how, maybe three weeks ago. And it is a really cool trick because a friend of mine was doing it and she was seeing that her fruit was staying fresh longer because it was such a tight seal with the mason jar. So you'll see that I cut up all of our fruit. I cut up our strawberries, we cut up the watermelon, cut up pineapple, um, the honeydew melon, all that kind of stuff. And it all is still staying good. This was videoed, really did I just say video? This was filmed about two weeks ago and everything's gone now, but it took us longer to eat the honeydew melon and the watermelon and it stayed good for like a week and a half like still really fresh so i highly recommend like using a mason jar if you're having the same problem we were where things were just going bad too fast so i just remembered avery ate so much that night first of all you can see she's chowing down on this watermelon like going to town on it and we kept thinking like she's not gonna eat her dinner because she's eating so much of this watermelon which to me I do not care if she's eating fruit go for it girl fruit veggies protein I mean I'm not gonna let her eat a whole bunch of candy or sweets like right before dinner but she's eating watermelon so honestly who cares but um, she ended up eating like three slices of pizza all this watermelon she had a great night like a great eating night <laughs> it is obviously the next day the only thing we did yesterday was cut up that watermelon right He's watching a video. I'm pretty sure the only thing we did yesterday was cut up the watermelon. We did the rest of it today, the cantaloupe, the strawberries, the pineapple. Um, I'm about to do my envelope stuffing for you guys, but I wanted to give you a meal plan really fast for the week. I'm not doing anything special, honestly, but I always like to hear other people's because it gives me ideas of what to make for my family. So I started this on Saturday, which was last night. Last night we did make your own pizzas, which was really delicious. I actually made mine out of Greek yogurt and uh, self-rising flour. So good, super good. If you're wanting to try it, it's equal parts of each. So I did half a cup of each and it was perfect. Mix it up, it's really sticky at first. Mix it up, throw it in the oven for six minutes to pre-bake it, pull it out, use your toppings, put it back in for six to eight minutes. So yummy. Anyway, okay, so we did that last night and then tonight was leftovers or fend for yourself night. I made another pizza because it was delicious. Robbie had ramen and some chicken. Avery had a pop tart, like, and then she had um, pineapple and strawberries and cantaloupe. So she ate a whole bunch of fruit, or not cantaloupe, honeydew melon. I think I said cantaloupe earlier, honeydew melon. Anyway, so tomorrow night we're having chicken adobo, which is one of Robbie's favorites. I love it too. It's one of my favorites, I guess you could say. And our friend Josh is coming over, so I'll make that and I'm gonna make a whole bunch of it. So we'll have leftovers for, I don't know, we're gonna meal prep some lunches too, but we can always eat chicken adobo and it does not last long in this house. So Tuesday night, all of our friends come over and we're having hamburgers on the Blackstone. So probably more like smash burgers on the Blackstone. Wednesday night, we're gonna be doing crock pot crock pot pulled pork tacos oh my gosh crock pot pulled pork tacos and um then we'll just either put that in a soft taco or maybe put it you can even put it over like a potato if you want to so basically just crock pot pulled pork and then put it over whatever the heck you want rice things like that i would not put it over pasta thursday we're going to do one of our crock pot meals from the we made a whole bunch of crock pot meals. There's a video about it before Beckett was born. So I think we have two of those left, maybe three of them left. So we'll do one of those. And then Friday night, we have a date night um, in our friend group. I have a birthday and then another one of the guys in our group has a birthday the day before mine. So we're going to go out to dinner, go to an escape room and just hang out that night. And so I won't have to cook that night. And then my meal plan always restarts on Saturdays because that's when we go to the grocery store Saturday morning usually so that is our meal plan for this week let's get to our envelope stuffing i'm going to move myself out of the way so you can just see the envelopes i'm first going to pull up my good notes so i can see how much to put in each and i'm going to start with my brown binder first there's a shoe, a random shoe up here. Avery went to a place called Morgan's Wonderland, which is kind of like a park and a water park, and so that came out of her bag. 
anyway okay so first groceries we already did a lot of our grocery shopping but so I'm not gonna put anything in there because we already did our grocery shopping so that one's good so next is gas we did $75 for this week but I already used 25 of it for my car so we'll just put 50 in there for Robbie let me pull out all the coins too And then I'll take out this receipt so that I can scan it. I have $1 left, so that will go in the back. You really can't see much, can you? How do I do this better? This is really difficult. Hmm. We're just gonna have to do it this way. <laughs> I'll figure this out later, like a better way to do this so that you're not upside down and backwards, but we still have stuff we have to do tonight. And it's nine, almost 9.30. Okay. So 50, and then there's still $10 left over, so I'll keep that in there. But we did have two $1 bills left over, so I'll put those in a pile and move those later on. Next is Avery, which should be the kids, and they get $50. And this changes week by week, month by month, depending on what's going on, what we've got going on. If we have birthday parties or things we need to pay for, it changes. Robbie, so I'll leave his $1 bills in there. But I also need to be writing this down. I'm forgetting to update here. Oops. Okay, so the kids have 50. Robbie, let's see how much Robbie has. Robbie will get 50 with his. So there's 50, 122, $122. Next is me, no surprise. I feel like I never have money left over. But I had to buy some makeup this week. 50 for me. Okay, self care we're not adding to. Dining out, take all the coins out. Now dining out looks a little bit different. I originally put in it for the week 200 because we are going to be going out like I said on Friday that's the only time we plan on eating out things can come up though so but also we have to pay a babysitter that night yes okay so both of these go in here and then I will take things to, like I had to do the tickets for the escape room online so then I'll put money back in the bank whenever I go to the bank for that and then we're not putting anything in clothing this week Five, uh, one dollar challenge so that's where I'll put these dollar bills at the end of the month I'll move that either into savings or towards a bill that we might have that we're working on if we don't have a bill that we're working on it can go towards a vacation so five dollar challenge I didn't have any leftover fives so let me go and get the other binder which is all of our sinking funds okay so this one is animals now putting a good chunk into animals this week because we need to start saving up for they're going to have doctor's appointments vet appointments pretty soon where we're going to have to go in and take them to get their shots and we need to get flea medicine so they get 158 dollars this week And there's already money in there plus uh, Louise Shotzi and I call Shotzi Louise that's her middle name she has a grooming appointment this week and Gunner's also getting a bath this week so after that they will have 50 100 50 200 40 uh, $248 dollars in there so it will probably cost about a hundred to have them groomed
Okay, next is automotive, and that gets 25. So that's got 50, 150, 75, $175, which is good because Robbie has some things he needs to do on his truck, like an oil change and stuff. Birthday should get a hundred, um, but let's see what we got left. Yes, okay, so birthday is already gotten it because Robbie bought my birthday gift, so I will put that in the bank. And then Christmas is last. And Christmas also gets a hundred. So let's see. How much does Christmas have? And like this I don't carry around on a daily basis. There's no need to carry this much money around on a daily basis. That's dangerous. But okay, so we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, let's see, 50, 450, $475, $85, $91. $491. So that is pretty good. We're halfway through the year. So. If we can get to a thousand for Christmas, that would be wonderful. And that's what we'll work towards. And then for medical, medical I already paid a whole bunch of things. Like we're working on Beckett's birth and there was a couple times when Avery was in the hospital. So we're working on that. That stays in the bank and I put it towards those bills as soon as we get paid. So that's it for this week. And let's get on to meal prep. Here I am, it's me again. <laughs> I'm really enjoying doing these voiceovers lately. It's just really nice to get to like sit down and talk, I guess. But this fruit, oh my gosh, it was so delicious and we got so much of it. We just had a fruit filled week. I know that I was talking about that earlier, but the mason jar thing is amazing and it really helps our fruit stay fresh. And so on a week like this week when we got like six different types of fruit and we didn't eat it all on that week, it keeps it fresh, but it is all gone now and we've had to buy more since then. Side note, look at Gunner back there. He is such a good dog. Goofy. Goofy as all get out, but such a good dog. If he would just stop digging in the backyard, he'd be perfect. But you see he's around me this entire time. He loves fruit. I've never had a dog that enjoyed fruit. He loves any kind of fruit. I don't know if that's because he's a puppy or... It, I don't know, but he will sit there at my feet and wait for a banana or pineapple or strawberries. Um, we don't give him grapes, obviously it's not good for dogs. Blueberries, he loves all that kind of stuff. I give him pineapple core here in just a second, you'll see. But it all started because one time Avery was eating a banana and she's like, I don't want this anymore. And I said, give it to Gunner, just kind of laughing and Gunner ate it. So now if you have a banana, you have to be careful because if he's around, he will take it from your hand. He loves banana that much. And I just love to listen to him crunch on all the, well not a banana but like pineapple and honeydew melon all that kind of stuff listening to him crunch on it always makes me laugh but he is such a good dog and apparently a pretty good eater too
this honeydew melon was so good. It looks like a cantaloupe. It really does. And um, I had to go back and check the receipt to make sure. But we tried this in the store. This lady was giving out samples. And it was so delicious. And I love honeydew melon. And I actually really like cantaloupe too. But man, this was super good. But I have never cut up a cantaloupe or a honeydew melon. I've just eaten like those fruits and fruit trays and things like that. So I had to be really brave. I was like, Robert, are you sure you don't want to cut this one? He's like, you can do it, Mallory. Just cut it up. But it wasn't so bad. It was super delicious though. Very juicy, super, super sweet. And it was very refreshing for right now too. Speaking of refreshing, is it as hot as it is here where y'all are at? Now, believe me, I've grown up in Texas my entire life. I know hot, I know heat, I know humidity, like I know it, but oh my gracious, I feel like it has gotten so hot so quickly. For the past couple weeks, like not this week, but maybe for a month straight, mm, let's see, probably like mid, May to mid-June. Well, we are in mid-June. Anyway, <laughs> this has gotten too long. It rained like every day and so it was humid, but it was never super, super hot. I go walking with my sister and my mom at nighttime and it was like in the 70s and it was perfect. It was great. It was perfect walking weather. It wasn't all that hot. And then all of a sudden, here came the heat with a vengeance. Today, the high is 105. 105 degrees and it was already a hundred degrees at 11 a.m. this morning last night we went to a birthday party and we got back in the car at about 7 30 ish maybe 7 45 and it was still a hundred degrees it's ridiculous it is so stinking hot we had a camp this week that my best friend and I put on at the church and we did a lot of outside stuff like one day we went and did a hike in the Canyon Lake Gorge ridiculously hot on Friday we went to this place called ZDT's in Seguin which is like a kind of like a little amusement park I wouldn't call it an amusement park because it's very small but they have why well, did I guess I did just call it an amusement park they call it an amusement park but anyway they have one roller coaster that is actually they did a very good job you know I was it's not this rinky dink roller coaster you know, it can it can hold its own when it comes to like you know amusement park rides anyway and then it had um arcades and a roller coaster simulator and bungee jumping and rock climbing and go-karts we had a blast but it was so hot oh my gosh it was ridiculous i got home and my shirt was just like soaked i immediately jumped in the shower but is it that way for y'all too are y'all having like an unusually hot summer so far we're not even in summer today is june 18th good gracious well here we are we've come to the end of another video you can tell by the song that i'm playing again it is my favorite but i did want to say that this meal prep that robbie made for us was super good and so simple just chicken thighs and i don't know if he showed the seasoning or not but it was a buttery steakhouse by kinders or kinders and then just you know cut up bell peppers and onions and down on the blackstone it was awesome I would either take this and just eat this by itself for the week or I would put it in like a tortilla. It was so, so good. So I definitely think we'll be doing that again pretty soon. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and God bless you.